Hey Geminis, welcome to the first half of November love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing good. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing, or someone within your environment could be could be experiencing. Excuse me, um, or someone that you're energetically energetically attached to. I've got my words. I swear, I do. I do have my words with me today. Um, Gemini's, the energy I was picking up from you. I'll be honest. It's kind of sad okay it's a little sad um i heard the word toast so first of all congratulations congratulations to whoever that's for i do feel like it is a toast to someone or a toast to you keep in mind it can be vice versa guys um but i just feel like empty victories broken promises i heard humble pie it's like oh my god like <laughs> gemini's i don't know what's going on but i can feel it you're feeling like you're just feeling really down you're feeling really down or someone could be feeling this way within your environment or about you okay um but it's just like there's people around there's <coughs> excuse me there's celebrations going on there's fun to be had and i feel like gemini is just kind of like got their drink in their hand and sitting in the corner like mm, mm, like blase like like eh, it's not really making me happy it's not really making me happy and gemini's i do feel this energy of like trying to go out there like I'm going to go out tonight. I'm going to go out with my friends. I'm going to go to this party. I'm going to go out to see a movie. Like, trying really hard to go out there and, and have fun. But nothing seems to be, like, really satiating you or really putting a smile on your face. Um, and definitely those terms that came to me really stuck out. Humble pie, broken promises, and empty victories. Okay? It's almost like, you know, you've, you've worked really hard to accomplish something or you're hitting a milestone. And it's just like... You either had to sacrifice a lot to get there and you're like, God damn it. Like you had to sacrifice relationships like, oh, I wish those people were here to see this or like here to support me. Like it's that kind of energy um, or broken promises, you know, like maybe someone really just lied to you straight up. Oh, shit. <laughs> My camera just glitched out and I really hope it didn't mess up the audio. Um, I'm only two minutes in. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. So if the audio gets unsynced, I apologize. This weekend, I'm prioritizing the new equipment, okay? Um, but for now, I really hope it didn't fuck up the audio. And I really won't be able to tell until I actually upload it to YouTube, okay? Anyway, Gemini's back to you. Um, but I did hear broken promises. Someone could have reneged on a promise, taken back what they've said. Um, I just feel a big retraction with that, actually. I'm hearing retraction. I feel a big retraction of energy with that. And then someone's eating humble pie somewhere okay whether that's you or someone you're connecting with it could have been the person that broke the promise to you okay all right guys let's go and get into the pre-shuffle energy and like i said gemini's it can all be vice versa as well so if it's not your energy that's okay um but let's go and get into the pre-shuffle i just heard blackbird that's weird blackbird like not beard but blackbird that's gotta be for someone else Please bring forth any messages for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Hearing Libra. Please bring forth any messages for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. So I took some sinus medicine, by the way, so you might hear me be a little sniffly. <clears throat> Been drinking a water like... A drinking a water jesus drinking water like a camel as well <clears throat> to deal with that please record any messages for gemini regarding love for the first half of november yeah honestly i keep seeing like champagne glasses and like a big gathering but i just feel like such a solemn energy like i want to be happy but i just can't be happy about this interesting Please forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Okay. Please forward any messages. Oh, Gemini. Five, I just heard everyone's got something to say is what I just heard. Everyone's got something to say. Uh, Leo energy here. This is fighting. This is conflict. But it's like, it's immature bullshit, Okay. It's immature bullshit. Everyone's got something to say. Everyone's got unsolicited advice. And Gemini, that might be what's bumming you out. Oh, Gemini's, I think that might be what's bumming you out and you might not realize it, okay? You might be getting a lot of comments or criticism from people and you're just like, like, oh, they, oh, mm, oh, you gotta say something. So you gotta say something again? Oh, oh, you got something to say again? And it's just like, you're just tired of hearing it. You're just tired of hearing it. 
some of you Geminis, my, I'm more like my single Geminis, you could have a lot of people hitting you up, like dating wise, or just hitting you up again, even people you haven't heard from, from heard from in a while. <laughs> Geminis, you are mercurial, so my speech is going to be real messed up during your reading, okay? Um, but some of you could be experiencing a lot of like suitors or just a lot of people hitting you up and you're just like, you're just kind of over it. You just kind of look at them like they're a little immature or not really up to your level. Not really up to your level. That's definitely for some of you. Others, you're de definitely dealing with some immature ass people giving you unsolicited advice and you're really sick of it. You could also be fighting. For those who are committed, you could be fighting with somebody. I just heard unexpected. Unexpected. Oh, we got King of Cups at the bottom. Please import any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Gemini. Wow. Oh, why do I feel like you're, you want to explode? Gemini, four swords in reverse, Libra energy, and the king of wands in reverse, Leo energy. Could also be fire or air. Oh, this king is not happy. This king is not happy. This could be you or this could be someone you're connecting with. I feel like this person is that solemn energy that I was picking up on. So decide if that's you or not. But it's almost like going from sad to frustrated. Yeah, like sad to frustrated. Someone could also be um, needing a vacation here with that four of swords in a verse, really needing rest and relaxation. But this king is just looking at this five of wands like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> so tired of hearing people talk. So tired of being approached by these immature people. Like, just tired. Just tired of it. I feel like this king is on the verge of like running away. That's interesting. Hold on a second. Hmm. This king's on the verge of doing something. They're on the verge of doing something. They're just really unhappy. They're really unhappy in their environment. They're not wanting to stick around with whatever they got going on right now is what I'm getting to. Hold on, I'm picking something up. There's a silence going on though. I feel like this king is definitely that solemn energy I was picking up on, like I said. Dealing with this, this, this five of wands energy, dealing with a bunch of pages, essentially. Dealing with a bunch of immature people. It could also be people who are younger. It could even be their own children. Let's just be real. Your own family, right? Um, but with the four swords in reverse, I also get this person's like, I'm dealing with all of this mess, but almost like wanting to break a silence with something over here. We don't have any other cards yet, but I just feel like wanting to break the silence or break a break. Break a break. <laughs> with someone or something over here that is not this shit. It's, this person really wants to get away from this energy and they want to run away over here. But I feel like for some, they got something going on over here that they haven't been putting energy into. Please import any messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ooh, Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy, feeling alone. That solemn energy, man, feeling alone. Like, no matter how good I got it right now, no matter what I'm doing in my life right now, no matter how many people I'm around right now, I just feel alone. Someone could be feeling really alone even within a relationship, even within a committed relationship. Thank you, pattern. I just heard pattern. All right. So whoever's feeling that within, 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 within a committed relationship, uh, this feels like a common theme for this person. Like, they've experienced this with most of their relationships. <clears throat> Hold on a second. Oh, God. Mm. Oh, I can't wait for winter. <laughs> During fall and spring, my allergies are a mess. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, breaking the silence, right? Breaking the silence with something over here. There is, for some of these kings, there is someone or something over here that they've put on ice or put out in the cold that they want to break the silence with or from or break the break from with. You know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm trying to say. That's definitely for some. Please record any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Gemini, I just heard Virgo. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's like, kind of hurts my heart a little bit. We got a ton of pentacles. Virgo energy with the queen of pentacles, Capricorn energy. So it's funny. I said I heard Virgo. Virgo. Capricorn could also be earth or water with the three of swords, Libra energy, pretty sure that's Saturn and Libra to be specific, specific. Queen of Pentacles is usually someone who is committed with the Ten of Pentacles energy. I'm just getting a homey environment. Could even be someone's mother. I don't know why I'm getting that. Could be someone's mother who's in some pain right now. Someone could have a fight with, have a fight with their mom. Someone could have had a fight with their mom. I don't know what that's about. Um, if you had a fight with your mom, just talk it out. Oh, just talk it out. You're not listening to my advice, but I'm just saying I, I was feeling that for some reason. Um, 
interesting because this king of wands has that four swords right wanting to break that silence with someone and then this person over here is at the three i feel like this is someone that the king either left behind or is just wanting to close the gap with but ten of pentacles it's almost like for some of you this is someone within the home environment others it's almost like a potential but with that ten of pentacles ten of pentacles like it's a blessing card right it's like what's the word holy grail it's like the holy grail of what you've been wanting right but three of swords there's pain and heartache attached to it pain and heartache attached to it someone's hurting off in the distance someone's hurting off in the distance that this king of swords is not giving energy to and instead of this king of swords dealing with that person they're dealing with all these people oh boy okay wow and this king of king of wands is definitely wanting to close the gap with this queen of pentacles whoever this queen of pentacles is this king of wands could be the king of wands mother uh could be a family member because it is the ten of pentacles it's also kind of like the, the perfect partner queen of pentacles is the perfect partner card but it's almost like with the ten of pentacles it's a blessing as well so it's like the one the one the perfect person and there's a major sense of separation and sadness here this king of wands is basically ignoring the one or a or a mother figure of sorts and instead they're dealing with a bunch of people they don't want to be dealing with okay okay all right gemini's this is heavy <laughs> we're starting off pretty heavy but let's go ahead and get to the reading here <clears throat> For those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very general. Messages come through for those who need to hear them. So sometimes it's going to be you, sometimes it's not, and that's okay if it's not. Um, please watch any other reader if I'm not resonating with you, and please do not try to make this fit if it's not your reading, okay? Don't try to make every reading you see fit. It'll just make you insane, especially because not all readings can be for you, okay? All right, guys. Also, keep in mind, energy is reversed or vice versa. So if it's resonating, if the roles are reversed, you can switch the roles. It still resonates. If it's resonating, you already know who you are in the story, so you wouldn't even be thinking about that. So that's another way to, to, to interpret readings, okay? Um, also, guys, don't get caught up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Uh, also, this is for the first half of November, but time is not linear. So whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it. Any other questions, curiosities, confusions about tarot, me, or my channel, check out all the information below. There's a lot of stuff there, okay? All right, Geminis, let's do this. <sighs> Any messages for Gemini? Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November? I keep hearing February for people. It's making me a little crazy. So I just heard February for you guys. Something could be going down in February. Any messages for Gemini regarding love? For the first half of November? Any messages for Gemini? Regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November? Okay. Got that damn King of Cups at the bottom again. <laughs> Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the first half? Oh, damn it. I was trying not to call it. I was trying not to call it in, but I kind of felt this when I was meditating. I'm like, no, don't scare them. Don't say the tower. Tower. <laughs> Scorpionic energy could also be Aries because it's Mars. Geminis, this is your very first card. It's got a big impact in your reading here, okay? So we got a big fat tower moment here. And I just heard humble pie again. Someone's gonna be eating humble pie after this tower moment. Any messages for Gemini? I just heard throne. Like R-O-W-N, throne. Like throne, like to throw something. Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November? I know some of you guys thought I meant like throne, like crown. No, like toss. <laughs> Any Although now that I say that, I just realized that top of that tower does not look like a, a crown. <laughs> no, now that I said that. Oh, that's interesting. Now I can't stop looking at that. Okay, someone might be thrown from their throne. Ha! <laughs> sorry, couldn't help it. Thrown from their throne. Anyway, sorry. Being silly. Trying to lighten the mood here. Trying to lighten the mood. Any messages? Oh, no. Oh, ow. Two of Cups in reverse, Cancerian energy, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Total missed opportunity in love between soulmates. Ouch. Ouch. Any messages for Gemini? Someone's perspective of another person's about to change. 
any messages for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November? Mm. Ooh. Ooh. I just heard hit the bricks. Queen of Swords, Gem uh, no, Libra. So Gemini, this could be you. Libra energy could also be air or water. I just heard fire as well. Knight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy could also be water or fire with the Eight of Cups, uh, Piscean energy here. Ooh. Is this queen not giving or is someone not giving to her? I feel like this queen's telling someone to hit the bricks. That's what it feels like to me. Like the queen's like telling someone like, telling a knight of cups in reverse someone who's not giving love someone who's not giving affection my, it's my inappropriate lover card so someone who's like could be very shut off or someone who gives a lot of love to a lot of people it's someone who loves inappropriately and in, in an unhealthy way as well also a bit of a charmer but the eight of cups is like bye bye boy bye girl bye like i really feel like the queen of swords is telling someone you're not giving to me you're not appropriate in the way that you love me or show me affection get the hell get the hell out of here get the hell out of dodge Get away from me. Hit the bricks. That's kind of what this feels like. Oh, boy. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Any other messages for Gemini? Any other messages for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November? This is intense, guys. Any messages for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November? Oh. 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 Oh, I did not expect that. Sorry, I just got the chills. Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, and the Ace of Wands, and the Ten of Cups, Piscean energy. Okay. Okay. I... <sighs> okay, as a reader, I get real tired of seeing these kind of situations here, but basically, someone is clearly experiencing a tower moment. I do feel like it's between two people. Someone is about... Someone's perspective of another person is about to change. Someone's about to get thrown off their throne here. There's been a missed opportunity between two soulmates and a queen of swords is telling someone you don't love inappropriately or you're not giving to me in the way I deserve or whatever, hit the bricks. And when they hit the bricks, there's a big sense of relief, a big sense of relief. Like, oh, thank God. Like, like, oh, I'm out of this predicament. Like, that's kind of how it feels because eight of swords in a verse says this person felt trapped. This person had anxiety. This person was just like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Right. And this Queen of Swords basically told them, get the hell out of here. And with the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands is very phallic energy. It's very passionate energy. And like I said, that sigh of relief, right? What comes with relief? Excitement and happiness and that fire. With the Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups is leading to a like happy, happy place. Whoever is hitting the bricks is heading towards their Ten, which is exactly what happens with the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups heads towards the Ten. Okay, Ten of Cups is also a family vibration, a home vibration, a marriage vibration, a relationship vibration, okay? oh man i oh this just feels intense this feels really intense so this queen tells someone hit the bricks and they go to their happy place and with the ten of cups it feels a little bit like a relationship it really does um man i'm like i said as a reader i'm tired of these kind of <laughs> i'm tired of these kind of stories and i know some of you guys are too and i know it's mercury retrograde i know it's indicative of that kind of time and it's just like uh okay <laughs> Anyway, overall energy, six of pentacles in reverse, Taurine energy. There's been major imbalance here. Major, major imbalance. Someone, I almost feel like someone's been giving too much. And because they've been giving too much, they haven't been able to give a balanced amount. Does that make sense? Like, let's say you have, I don't know, like, I need, okay, I need to think of a good example here. Uh, let's say you have six, six coins. Okay, let's say you have six coins. And every week you're supposed to give to eight people. There's going to be a couple people there who don't get a whole coin right? I mean, you could try to like do it all, like split the coins up, whatever. Anyway, I'm not going down that road, but you got six coins and eight people. There's people who are going to miss out, right? Leading to major imbalance and an imbalanced way of giving. I feel like that's what's being, that. The, <laughs> I feel like light is being shed on that. I feel like light is being shed on that. Someone's, someone didn't have enough to give to the people they're giving to. Someone's been over giving. Too many mouths to feed, too many people to give to. And I think this queen is like, you know what? That's what's been going on. You've been given to too many people. Get the hell out of here. I'll give you one less person to give a coin to. You know, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. All right. So let's go ahead and look at the tower and see what's happening there. I'm a little nervous. Uh, 
Ooh, you know what? I haven't done spellcasters in a while. Let's do spellcasters. Tell me about the tower. For Gemini, tell me about this tower moment. For Gemini, regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the tower. And guys, okay, they want me to bring this up, and I, th I think I realize why they want me to bring this up. So tower moments. Let's talk tower moments for a minute, because I know I got a lot of newbies who are still trying to get all the lingo, and I know sometimes I'm not so good at addressing, like, the basics of the basics, right? So what tower moments? Tower moments are inevitable, okay? Tower moments happen for a multitude of reasons. They happen because we need a change, and it helps clear some stuff out to allow new stuff in, better stuff in. Sometimes they happen because we're too stagnant, and, you know... When we're stagnant, nothing can change, nothing can grow. And it's very natural for things to change and grow. Hence the tower moment to shake, shake some shit up. Also, if you've been resisting getting rid of something in your life or wrapping stuff up in your life, spirit will come in and give you a tower moment to make sure it gets done, okay? So those are the reasons why we have tower moments. Another reason why, you know, those are the reasons why they're also inevitable. All right, so for some, I feel like this tower moment was, was it pushed off? It feels a little bit like it was pushed off, like someone was supposed to clear something out and they didn't, hence the big tower moment. And by the way, when that happens, when you're like not closing shit out in your life and then a tower moment happens, it's usually way more disruptive than it would have been otherwise if you had just taken care of it, you know? So I have the tower. So I have the tower for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Time with the tower for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Time with the tower. Oh, that is way too many. That is way too many, but I'll take this one that's face up. The emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy here. So we've got an emperor on the board. Emperor is basically like someone who's been through a lot of shit. They, they encompass all the kings. Excuse me. They encompass all the kings. They could also be older than you, Gemini. There could be an age difference, but not necessarily. Uh, it's someone who also has a lot of power. Someone who likes to have a lot of control as well. Who manages people or manages a business of some kind. Could also be like a CEO, a judge, an entrepreneur, that sort of energy. And it's funny because didn't I say thrown off their throne? He clearly has a throne there. Quite a throne at that. So I'm at the tower. And it can also be a female. It's just masculine energy. Like I said, we don't read gender. We read energies. So I'm at the tower for Gemini. Too many spirit. That's too many. Give me less cards, please. I guess a lot's going down in this tower moment. So I'm up at the tower. For Gemini regarding love. Thank you. Ooh, and then we've got a king of swords. Gemini energy could also be air. Uh, so sorry, it's Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. So interesting because now we have a king and queen of swords here. Can we know the other Gemini? Because I said Gemini twice on accident. Um, ooh, I don't like this energy. It's actually making me queasy. Um, is this a challenge? Ooh. Oh, why does it make me nauseous? Um, it's making me nauseous. For some, these are two people challenging each other. Very masculine energies. One's about, one is, okay, this is so interesting. One's like the brawn and one's the brain. That's interesting. That's got to be for some of you out there. That's got to be for some of you. And this challenge is causing um, something to come to light, causing this queen to, to tell someone to get the hell out of Dodge, Okay. Oh, it's making me so queasy. I got to get out of this. Um, most of you, this is the same person. Most of you, this is the same person here. Someone who's very logical, someone who's very strategic, but um, powers, power is a big thing to this person. Power and control is big to this person. They need their power. They need their control. Time about the tower for Gemini. Ooh, chariot in reverse, can't searing energy. So lack of commitment and no forward movement here. It's almost like a stalemate. This, okay, this emperor slash king of swords has come to a conclusion about something on not to move forward in something that they shouldn't proceed any further. Thank you. They shouldn't proceed any further on something. 
Tell me about the tower. If it's like a challenge between two people, it's causing stalemate energy. Causing like almost like a ruckus. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower for Gemini. Tell me about the tower for Gemini. Regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the tower for Gemini. Regarding love for the first half of November. All right, so now I got two more cards out here. Wow, what did I say about power? Power and control, strength. Leo energy with the wheel of fortune, Jupiter energy. This is someone taking control of the situation and pushing the wheel forward. They're pushing the wheel forward by putting their foot down and not proceeding with something. This is so interesting. This is to get out of that eight of swords energy. This is the person who was feeling stuck before. Feeling stuck, I don't know what to do. I'm not sure how to get out of this. I don't know what, what I want. I don't know the best way to proceed. And this tower moment is them gaining clarity here. Them gaining clarity. And gaining clarity, that challenging energy I was feeling for some of you, that someone could have been seeking advice. Someone could have been seeking advice to gain this clarity. It could have been from a patriarchal figure, like a father figure. Um, oh, even a lawyer or a judge. That's interesting. I just realized that. Even a lawyer or a judge for legal action, if that applies to your situation here, okay? But that challenging energy, like head to head, I really feel like that was just them seeking advice on something. And they came to the conclusion that they can no longer proceed down a road that they've been on. And they're taking control and pushing their will forward to get out of this energy, to get out of this mess. Overall energy, we have two of swords, moon and Libra energy. Yep. Oh, yeah, there we go. Eight of swords in a verse, Gemini energy. And then the two of wands in a verse, Aries energy. Going from I don't know what to do, I stalemate, epitome of the stalemate energy. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I want to get out of this. I need to get unstuck. I need to have progress in my life. Two of wands in a verse. Okay, I made a decision. I know how to proceed. Wow. Wow. Okay, Gemini's. Oh my God, we're 27 minutes in. <laughs> I always have such long readings for you guys. So like I said, there's been a missed opportunity here between two soulmates. So I'm just going to touch on this lightly. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but clearly that's what this tower moment is. Someone just coming to that conclusion of, okay, I've been on this path. I can't be on this path anymore. I need to choose a different path. That's all that is. So let's see this missed opportunity. I'm going to use Lenormand deck on this just to make it a little quicker. Tell me about this missed opportunity for Gemini. Tell me about this missed opportunity for Gemini. Ooh, the burden. We have the cross, 36 breaking down to a nine with the six of wands, Jupiter, Leo energy. The cross is quite literally that. It's a burden, literally bearing the cross, right? Tell me about Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the two of cups in reverse for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see here. Oh, sorry, it's kind of cute. We've got the key. Oh, actually, oh shit, now I'm actually, okay, now I think I know this is going to play out. It might not be so cute. The key, 33, a master number with the Eight of Pentacles. We have the bouquet, energy of nine with the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. With the bear, okay? Ten of Wands, 15 breaking down to a six. So... There was a missed opportunity in soulmates. And when I say missed opportunity, it's not like this is something that never really got started, okay? Because it's an Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is the beginning. The beginning never happened between us two soulmate energies here. And that's been a burden. It's been stressing this person out. It's been stressing out this emperor slash king. And the key is unlocking. It's bringing something to light. It's also getting unstuck. Bouquet and bear is really interesting energy to have together. Bouquet is usually like a gift. It's a gift or it's a blessing. The bear is 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 more stress. It's stress, it's willpower, it's strength. Um, that's another way to like, it's like, it's also like stronghold kind of energy. Like it's the 10 of wands, essentially. It's the 10 of wands. So someone is realizing that there's been a major, this, that this burden of missing out on an opportunity in love has been stressful because of, how do I say this? Oh my God, how do I say this? It's like what was supposed to be a gift became a burden. That's what it is. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. What was a gift became a burden. And someone's realizing this with the key. But the gift is associated with the queen of swords. Who's telling someone to get the hell, hell out of here. All right. Tell me more about the ace of pentacles in reverse. 
21 with Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh, the ring. We've got commitment. 25, bring it down to a seven with the Ace of Wands here. Overall energy, we have the magnifying glass, energy of 44, which is taking a deeper look, a closer look at things. Whoa. And then we've got the lilies with the king of swords. King of swords. Energy of 30, break it down to a three with communication. And then we have a communication card. This is a very special communication card. It's the birds in the Norman deck, but it's it's like a special edition. It's with the owl. So it's like spiritual communication. 12, break it down to a three. More communication, I know, with the seven of pentacles. And then we've got the male. 28 cyclical energy with the ace of cups wow and loyalty okay oh this is a mess gemini this is a freaking mess so let's just look at the overall energy first before we get into the clarifiers a little bit more so taking a deeper look at something like i said this king was trying to gain clarity going from i don't know what to do i don't know what to do i don't like being stuck in the situation i need to be unstuck i need to, i need to i need to do something okay i've made a decision i know what path i need to head down taking a deeper look at something. These two cards together are very spiritual. The lilies is a spiritual card within itself. It's also sexuality or, you know, sexual energy. It's also a card of maturity with, almost, I'm, I'm, I feel like it's telepathic communication here. It's, it's spiritual communication. To me, it just says tele telepathy, right? And then we have a male with loyalty, which is also love here, okay? Which is, feels like this emperor's energy. This emperor is clearly in love with somebody, clearly in love with somebody. And it feels like that there's spiritual communication going on, tele telepathic communication going on, and also very sexual. There's a very sexual component to that. Trying to understand this. This emperor was trying to understand this kind of energy in relation to missing an opportunity in love with somebody, someone that they're clearly in love with, someone that they're clearly in love with, whether it's the queen of swords or whoever they're walking towards. Okay, we're going to see how this plays out because this is feeling like a telenovela, Gemini. Okay? <laughs> feeling a little bit like a telenovela here. But this this emperor has commitment on their brain. Okay? Commitment and love and sexual yumminess. But they miss an opportunity with somebody. All right? So let's move on to this queen who's shooing someone away. Queen of Swords with the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Eight of Cups. Let's look at the Knight of Cups in reverse. No, Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. So we can see what this person's leaving behind and what they're heading towards. Mm. Oops. Dropping shit left and right. Let's do Honest Truth deck. Yeah, let's do Honest Truth deck. It's almost like, I gotta be honest, it's like this emperor has been burdened by commitment all the while missing an opportunity in love that never got started. I'm just being honest with what I see here. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, Jesus, Eight of Cups. <laughs> eight of Cups, we're looking at the Eight of Cups. Gemini, don't hate me, I know I'm all over the place. Tell me about Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Eight of Cups for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the Eight of Cups for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the Eight of Cups for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Time with the Eight of Cups for Gemini regarding love. Ooh, we got a King of Wands. Leo energy could also be air or fire. That's definitely more of this Emperor's energy. So yeah, they're the one who's heading out. Oh, Hermit in reverse. Virgo energy with the Five of Cups. Scorpionic energy and then death. More Scorpionic energy here. This King has come to a realization here so enlightenment hermit in reverse is someone who's recently attained enlightenment um five of cups about a loss and sadness that's more of that sadness solemn energy i was feeling in like in the meditative session they're realizing that they're actually really sad that they've lost something here that something has died 
Yeah, they're ma they're sad that they've lost something. Whether it's this lost opportunity with a soulmate or this Queen of Swords. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. Could be both, honestly. It could be both. Tell me about Eight of Cups. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, Gemini. Gemini. Two of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, and then we have the Chariot in reverse, Cancerian energy, and then the Five of Swords, Venus, and Aquarian energy. I'm getting major defeat with this Five of Swords energy. Major defeat. Almost feels like it's like not heading in the right direction. But that Two of Wands in reverse and the Chariot in reverse, Chariot in reverse is a non-movement card. It's like, I can't go there, I can't go there, I can't go there, I can't go there. But Two of Wands in reverse is like making a decision to go there. But they're defeated by this. It feels very much like I want to go there, but I can't go there. I want to go there, but I can't go there. I want to go there, but I can't go there. And feeling defeated by that. Very Geminian, by the way. <laughs> very Geminian. I love you guys. I love you. All right, let's see what else wants to come out here. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Full and yeah, see, full and reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because there's a Uranus card. Like. Oh, I, I want to go there, but I can't go there. I want to go there, but I can't go there. Just more of that same energy. Tell me about Eight of Cups. Tell me about Eight of Cups for Gemini. This is a very torn person. Whoever this emperor is, they're very, very, very torn here. They're clearly in love. But to be honest, guys, I really do see like, I really do see two different things. It's like, I see it, something that was a gift or a person that was a gift that be, just became a burden a burden and a commitment as well and at the same time on their on their mind they have a very spiritual sexual com um connection oh that's so funny I almost said commitment connection that they're trying to understand further that they feel very loyal to and very obligated to and clearly they're leaving something behind to go towards something else they're very torn I want to go there but I can't go there I want to go there but I can't go there I feel bad for this person actually so I have an eight of cups for Gemini over energy, jeez, yeah, see, Ace of Pentacles in reverse, missed opportunity. They're heading to their missed opportunity. Okay, yeah, I thought this was a third party situation. <sighs> this person's heading to their missed opportunity here. They're leaving behind, a, it seems like they're leaving behind a Queen of Swords that they realized as great as it seemed at first, it just became a burden and they were committed. With that ring, they were committed, just became a burden. But the missed opportunity they're understanding and coming to the realization that it's something spiritual and it's something that they already feel loyal to. Keep in mind, the loyalty card does have the Ten of Cups, which is exactly where it seems like this person is headed. If I could pick these cards up. It seems exactly where this person is headed. And once they start walking from the Eight of Cups to the Ten, they're not going to be burdened by this anymore. They're not, they're not going to be stuck. They're not going to be stuck. And they're heading exactly to that missed opportunity. Oh, I think I did that really fast. Sorry. They're heading right to that missed opportunity. Mm. wow okay so eight of swords in reverse with the ace of wands and the ten of cups I'm almost scared to clarify it <laughs> to be completely honest i'm almost terrified to clarify it but let's go there let's go there uh let's look at the uh let's look at the ten let's look at the ten of cups uh what deck have i not used yet let's do crystal visions i'm really liking this one Tell me about the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. For Gemini regarding love. For the first half of November. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. For Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Sorry, guys, in a second. Okay. Ooh, yeah, four cups in reverse. Can't say energy. This is something that was rejected before. <laughs> yeah, something that was rejected and missed before. Talking about the Ten of Cups for Gemini. Talking about the Ten of Cups for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. You know, after that, I want to take a look at this queen. I know we're spending a lot of time on this, but after this, I want to look at this queen that's telling this emperor to just go. Tell me about the Ten of Cups for Gemini. 
regarding love for the first half of November. So I have the Ten of Cups for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Page of Wands. Okay, so communication, flirting. There could definitely be an age difference here with the Emperor and the Page. Like, there could definitely be an age difference. But again, not necessarily here. But yeah, there was some kind of rejection. There was some kind of like, yeah, let's just... Like, yeah, some kind of rejection. Like, let's just not do this. <laughs> no, not going there, not going there, not going there. But now there's going to be communication about this. Time with the Ten of Cups. Time with the Ten of Cups for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Time with the Ten of Cups for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. So we got here. Wow. Oh, whoa. The chariot, Cancerian energy upright after all this chariot in reverse. And then six of swords, Aquarian energy. And I'm just noticing she's holding the two of swords, right? But now they're down. Um, yeah. And she's just like looking ahead, looking forward. This is moving, moving ahead fast. Chariot is also a card of commitment because it's Cancerian. Yeah. This is basically like you know, an opportunity that was rejected, communication and talk about it. Again, age difference for some, not for all, and moving right towards it. Also moving into peace as well with that Six of Swords energy, something that's very peaceful and very tranquil. Overall energy, the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy. So things are moving forward. So like I said, in the very beginning, when this emperor is experiencing their tower moment, gaining advice, trying to gain control back of the situation, they're trying to get um, have forward movement in their life again. And they end up heading right to a Ten of Cups and a new opportunity, an opportunity that was miss, missed, excuse me, missed once before. Underneath that, you ready? Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and then we have King of Swords again, double confirmation there. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. Oh, interesting. Then we have the High Priestess, Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader. So there is definitely some spiritual connection kind of going on here, which we already kind of knew from these two cards we already pretty much knew that there was some telepathy going on for some of you here i also feel like this emperor is intuitive in their own right with the high priestess coming up right next to them wow again gemini's a telenovela but let's go ahead and look at this person who's um telling this telling this king to kind of go okay this Queen of Swords with the Knight of Cups in reverse. So this Emperor, like I said, who also is coming across, across as a King of Swords, definitely this person is a soulmate that looks like they're leaving behind. I know you guys can't see all the cards, so I'm just going to hold them up for you. Uh, remember, this was the original line, okay? This person telling them, hey, you're not giving to me enough. You're not giving to me in the way that I need you to. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hi. Okay, what deck do I want to use? Let's do Gilded. I'm done Gilded here. Show me this Queen of Swords for the for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Show me this Queen of Swords, this person that the Emperor is leaving behind for Gemini regarding love for the first half of November. Show me this Queen of Swords, the person that this Emperor is leaving behind for the first half of November. Oh, interesting. Three of swords in reverse, Libra energy. So like I said, this is pretty much a third party situation. This is ending a third party situation. Also ending pain. Ending pain, ending heartache. Tell me about the queen of swords. Oh, we have a queen of cups. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Is this their energy or is this the other person? I feel like this is the Queen Swords energy of healing. More of that healing energy. Whoa. Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water. So what did I say before about that Queen of Pentacles and third party situation? Yeah. Yeah. This person basically ended the situation for this emperor. This emperor came to realize like what they wanted anyway. 
there might have been a conversation and then the queen was like yeah get out of here because i just i keep feeling like hit the bricks hit the bricks i keep feeling that even though this king clearly came into knowledge of what they wanted and what they should have done what they should have done yeah what they should have done is what they're saying what they should have done Let's see what else comes out here tell me more about this queen oh interesting okay tell me more about this queen Wow. Last card out, we have Five of Swords in reverse. Venus and Aquarian energy overall. We have the King of Swords, Aquarian energy, could also be Gemini or Libra. And then we've got that Two of Swords in reverse, Moon and Libra energy. And there's the communication. Knight of Swords, Gemini energy, could also be Air or Fire with that burden, the Ten of Wands here. Yeah. So that, I felt a conversation had to happen here for this to make sense. Yeah. So basically, this Emperor is like, look, I have gained some clarity on a situation. There's something I need to tell you. I need to do this, that, or the other because I'm burdened by this, I'm stressed by this, and they said, you know what, that's fine, I'm gonna end this for you, get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> get out of here, hit the bricks, hit the bricks, and then this queen ends up healing, um, and like I said, ending a third-party situation between her or him, between the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles, essentially. But Five of Swords in a verse tells me that there's forgive forgiveness here. Like, very quickly, this Queen of Swords forgives this emperor. Very quickly. Wow. Okay. Let's go ahead and pull some advice. Gemini, again, a freaking telenovela. And I'm so tired of these third party situations. So tired of the world are in third party situations, I suppose. Okay. Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? I mean, oh God, I just realized, I didn't even notice this before. So by the end of it, where this king ends up going to, which again was that missed opportunity before, 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups. Wow. 10 of pentacles and 10 of cups. That's literally having everything. That's having the solid home, the solid family, uh, legacy, financial stability, emotional stability. It's anything anyone would ever want. Not to mention we also have the wheel of fortune upright wherever they're going. I'm sorry are you guys okay <laughs> my bad i've been sitting here for a long time i had to adjust <laughs> any advice for my gemini's regarding this spread any advice for my gemini's regarding this spread oh buffalo spirit the abundant universe will provide energy of 10 cyclical energy so yeah this tower moment is the realization that this emperor is coming to it had to happen. This tower moment had to happen, and it is providing abundance in an indirect way, nonetheless. But anyway, this emperor is trusting what they have to do. They're trusting what they have to do, and they're running with it. It's something they should have done, is what Spirit keeps telling me that they should have done it before. But they're running with it, and they're starting a new cycle, having this conversation. Like I said, this Queen of Swords seems to be very under, seems to be very forgiving of it, and just been like, "Look, I'll end this for you. Get out of here." So in a bit of a harsh way, but they still end up forgiving this king. But it is providing abundance for sure. As long as you do right by your you and other people, the universe will take care of you. That's that lesson right there. Any other advice for my Geminis? Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Geminis regarding this spread? Ooh, Panther Spirit, reclaim your power. Energy of 44, which is a master number here. Like I said, this Emperor is gaining back control and power. Power is really important to this person. And they do end up in the Strength card. And again, Strength card is like, it's confidence, it's power, it's control. It's basically how you take power back in your life and control in your life is by making shit happen. That's how you do it. It's not sitting back and waiting for shit to happen. It's not hoping that someone says something. It's literally deciding and making de making decisions to go and do shit. And then you go and deliver on whatever it is you need to do for yourself. Okay, that's how you take control back. And this emperor is learning how to do that. Any other advice for my Geminis? 
Oh, wow. Peacock spirit. Let it shine. 46 of cyclical energy. I really just like this about speaking truth. I really feel like this is about just speaking truth here. Take control. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with other people. And the universe will always provide for you. Any other advice from my Geminis regarding this spread? All right, now we have, ah, oh, the owl, of course. I feel like every time this card comes out, the owl card comes out. Um, you see clearly now, 43 breaking down to a seven. Yeah, this emperor clearly had some decisions to make, right? They were stuck in that two of swords energy, eight of swords energy for quite some time of what to do. And what's eight minus two? Six, six of swords. What do I do on my path? Do I keep going or do I choose a new path? And they're realizing they had to choose a new path, a path that they dismissed prior. So they get it now. They do see the situation clearly. And also they had to use their intuition to do this because whatever connection they're going to, very, very spiritual connection. There's a lot of spiritual energy there. Overall energy, we do have swan spirit. Time for a deep dive. 60 breaking down to a six. This is, again, going down to your emotional depths of yourself here, okay? It's about really going deep within to really understand what you need and what's best for yourself. And again, I'm getting this energy of just being honest. To just be honest with yourself and to be honest with others. All this advice is for this emperor. All this advice is for this emperor. So my queens that are watching... I know this is mostly about the emperor, but obviously it was about the queens too. We, we took a look at the queen of swords. This queen of pentacles, I think, is mostly chilling. Mostly. I do think they are in a little bit of pain. Because, um, yeah, I just keep getting like a very spiritual pull between these two. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, it looks like things are being put the way they're supposed to be put. And the fact that this queen of swords forgives this person that quickly tells me this queen of swords is not all that invested anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like... That, that's a big thing to forgive. I don't know. That's a big thing to forgive. At least for me, it'd be a big thing to forgive if I was invested with someone. And clearly they were. Where'd the, where'd the cards go? Because it was a very burdensome uh, commitment. It took a lot of effort. It's that Ten of Wands energy, right? That Ten of Wands attached to that, which we did get again. Hold on. When this emperor came to communicate to that queen about a decision that they've made and how burdened they've been by that whole situation. Either way, you cut it, Geminis. I do hope this was insightful and helpful. Don't forget to go on uh, Patreon and check out Vimeo as well. Pa um, Vimeo partner reading should be up by the end of the week, okay? All right, guys, I hope you guys found some kind of insight from that, no matter, even if, uh, I can't talk, I'm so sorry, guys. Even though it was a telenovela, I hope you guys have a really great night and I'll see you later. Namaste.